Okay, this is a quick demo of the GPS auto config in RG Rover writing repeatedly to the uh, GPS, the configuration, uh, which may be just fine, just a demonstration that that is happening. I have a uh, mission planner running with two GPSs connected. My rover is located inside the shop with the roll up door open, but a very, very bad uh, visibility to the sky, so I'm not getting good uh, or, uh, good gps fix or anything but i have uh u center running twice one instance communicating with the moving base and the other with the rover uh, this is my configuration which is just like the gps y'all documentation describes for the external connections normally it talks about a crossover cable here we only really need the transmit which is labeled rx2 on the simple RTK board but this is the transmission from moving base to rover I have my fixed base RTCM3 coming into that same port so I need to have this baud rate at 115.200 to match this baud rate at the moment so uh, anyway what I'm going to show is that over here if I go back to mission planner and look at config and look at the auto config parameter GPS auto config it is set to one now if I go to either one of these GPS's and change the ball rate as an example uh, let me clear what I was there before to uh, 115 200 and send it what I'll see is if I click away and come back and it will take a little while um, I've seen this be very fast but uh, it seems that uh, I'm not sure if it's U center lagging or you know communication to U center or if it's just the timing in the flight controller uh, of writing to the GPS but in a second anyway we're going to see that this ball rate goes back to 460 800 uh, I promise There we are. So, and the same thing is true if I change this one as well. But uh, so, if I instead go back to here and change this to zero, and I do not have to restart the uh, flight controller or anything, just simply change that to zero. Now, if I come over and change the baud rate to 115 200, let me clear this just to get rid of that down there. 115 200 set it in RAM and flash and send it and I'll do the same over here um, on the moving base and send it and you'll notice by the way I immediately started getting corrections on the moving base from that fixed um, input coming in from the fixed base uh, but now let's see here if I click away and come back and of course I have to, have to do it a bunch of times to prove it but it will it will maintain 115 200 I've had it maintain it for hours as I was working with it so it uh, it doesn't overwrite 